Hey y'all, it's the Home Ec Lady. Thanks for joining me today. If this is your first time here, my name is April and I talk about gardening, cooking, and sewing. Today I want to talk about Western Boots. This is one of the first patterns that I created for Etsy and I created it in just these four smaller sizes here. Um, most people have told me that they use these small sizes as party favors, they can use them as photography props, um, and they also do, the smallest of sizes will fit a standard size doll like this. And I also have a pattern available that's in just this one size if you wanted to just make the doll boots. There have been a lot of people who have asked me to create the pattern in a larger size. So today I want to talk to you about the larger sizes that I created, um, which work really good for costumes and they could make really great slippers as well. So if you're interested in sewing these boots, take a look on Etsy at the size chart. Now, a lot of people ask me why I don't use standard sizes when I am listing um, measurements on Etsy. And the reason is because standard sizing is a myth. It doesn't exist. Um, standard sizing varies from brand to brand, but one thing that always works is measurements. To find the correct size in the pattern, um, you're going to be measuring the foot, and I do have a diagram listed on the pattern itself um, how to do that because there is a point on the boot which is not included in the measurement. So you'll measure the length of the foot and the width of the widest part of the foot to come up with the size to make for this, um, for this particular pattern. So let's talk about the fabric that um, I prefer to use for these and that's felt because you're going to need something that has a little bit of give to it. They actually go on a little bit like socks so you do want to have a little bit of give in there. Later in the video, I'll show you how to install a zipper on them if you want to use a stiffer fabric like a suede or a leather. And um, you can do that very cheaply for a costume by going to the thrift store and looking in the, household, uh, the housewares department. Um, sometimes they have throw pillows or chair covers or things like that that are in a suede type material or a leather type material. So check there first. If you're using a fabric like felt, it's really important that you do sew around the top of the boot to prevent it from losing its shape. So let's take a minute to look at how to apply an applique. To put appliques on your cowboy boots, you'll want to use the lightweight fusible it actually has a peel away. I don't know if you can see this. It's got a peel away. So you'll basically just iron the fusible onto the fabric and then use your pattern to trace the design, um, cut it out. And then once it's cut out, you can peel the backing off and then it can be ironed onto the boot and then you'll just sew around the applique. Other alternatives would be to create a, a little band at the top of your boot but again um, you still want it to have enough stretch to get over a foot like a, um, like a sock. You could also put a little spur on the back or a little strap around the front. Just let your imagination run wild when you're decorating these. If you do choose to create a boot out of a stiffer type of fabric, you're going to want to put a zipper on the back of it. It's actually pretty easy to do, so let's take a look at how to do that. When you cut the boot side, 
cut the side in a straight line rather than on the curves of the pattern. This will help you install the zipper very simply. To attach the zipper, you'll want one that's a little bit longer than the edge of your, um, of your boot. I'm going to use today an invisible zipper. This one's repurposed from another project that I did. So you want to put it face down on the right side of your boot and sew it. Then you will unzip it and sew it to the other side. So this is why it's important to have one that's longer than what you need so that it's easy to maneuver between the sides. And at this point, if you wanted to line the boot for a slipper, this would be the time to do it. You can um, pin the zipper on and then lay your lining fabric on top and then sew the zipper into place and sew along the top. All right, so you can see here that I have one side of the zipper sewn in. It's in between the lining and the outside. Okay, so I'm going to unzip the zipper and I'm going to put it on the other side. Put my lining over and then I'm going to sew this side. All right, I sewed this side and then I also sewed along the top. And now I'm going to turn it right side out. And then I used my iron to press it all down nice and flat. And now I can zip it up. Oops. Okay. There's my zipper in the back. And now that it is zipped up, I'm going to leave that tail on there until I sew the sole on and then I'll clip it. But then I can just sew the rest of it like normal. So I sewed on the toe. And you could also uh, line that. If you're making slippers, you'll want to line that. So just cut two and sew them together. And I have left the tail of the zipper on. Can also line the sole. So in this case, I have a piece of fabric um, for the foot to go on. And then I put in two layers of batting and then the sole. If this is a slipper, you're going to want to put something on the sole that goes um, against the floor that has a little bit of grip. You don't want it to be too slippery. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sew this on, leaving the tail of the zipper in place. All right, so the sole is connected to the cowboy boot now. And notice that the zipper is still in place. When I sewed, I made sure to go back and forth over the zipper quite a few times to prevent it from coming apart. And now that it's sewn into place, I can cut off the tail. And then turn the boot inside out or right side out. got yourself a little cowboy slipper. When I'm finished with this video, I'm going to begin working on a pattern for a cowboy hat, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for joining me today, and happy sewing!